Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating twist in the Philippine Air Force's multi-role fighter, MRF, project, a competition that was once thought to have a clear winner. But now, two European heavyweights have joined the race, the Dassault Rafale F-4 and the Eurofighter EF-2000 Typhoon Tranche 4. Let's unravel what this means for the modernization of the Philippine Air Force. For the longest time, it seemed that the Swedish Saab JS-39E EF Gripen was destined to win the MRF competition. Its affordability, operational efficiency, and ability to handle dispersed operations made it a favorite. However, the Philippine government has surprised everyone by reopening the competition, this time with an increased budget of 7 billion US dollars. This expanded budget has allowed previously considered two expensive contenders, like the Rafale F-4 and the Eurofighter Typhoon Tranche 4, to re-enter the scene. Alongside these are familiar competitors, including the Lockheed Martin F-16V Viper and the KIKF-21 Borome, as well as a surprising wildcard, the Boeing F-15EX Eagle II. Let's break down what these new entrants bring to the table. First, Dassault Rafale F-4. A cutting-edge French fighter with advanced avionics, improved networking capabilities, and a high payload capacity. The F-4 variant positions the Rafale as a force multiplier as capable of excelling in complex operations. And second, Eurofighter Typhoon Tranche 4. A collaborative European effort combining speed, agility, and state-of-the-art sensors. The tranche for model includes upgrades that make it a formidable contender for air superiority and multi-role missions. These aircraft are undeniably top tier, but they come with a hefty price tag, a challenge the Philippine Air Force seems willing to confront with its boosted budget. While the Rafale and Typhoon add European flair, other competitors remain strong. First, Lockheed Martin F-16V Viper, a proven and reliable American platform, favored for its combat track record and interoperability with U.S. forces. And second, KIKF-21 Borome, South Korea's promising next-generation fighter, still without international orders but a potential game-changer for a nation like the Philippines. Meanwhile, the Saab Gripen appears to be losing ground. Once seen as a front-runner, its lack of progress in negotiations has diminished its chances. And the Turkish TF Con, while innovative, is seen as too early in its development cycle to be a viable option. Interestingly, Russian aircraft, such as the Mykoyan MiG-35 or Sukhoi Su-35, are absent from the competition. The Philippine government has explicitly avoided Russian options, citing concerns over Moscow's close ties with Beijing, a strategic move aligning with Manila's regional priorities. With a fleet size target of 25 to 40 aircraft, the stakes have never been higher. The competition isn't just about cost-effectiveness, but about acquiring a platform that can serve as a game-changer for the Philippines' territorial defense. The Rafale F-4 and Typhoon Tranche for represent a shift toward high-end capabilities that could redefine the Philippine Air Force's operational doctrine. The relaunch of the MRF project highlights the Philippine Air Force's ambition to secure a truly world-class multi-role fighter. Whether the contract goes to a European champion, an American powerhouse, or an Asian innovator, one thing is clear, the race is wide open, and the decision will shape the region's air power balance for decades to come. What are your thoughts on this unexpected twist? Which aircraft do you think the Philippine Air Force should choose? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on defense and security topics. See you in the next video.